Do you have a passion for home decor and want to start your own online business? In this video, we will discuss how you can start your own home decor business using dropshipping, even if you have minimal money to start with. So, let's jump right in. Dropshipping is an e-commerce business model that allows you to sell products without having to carry any inventory. When you receive an order from your customer, your supplier is notified, and they will then ship the products directly to the customer. Home decor is a great industry for dropshipping for several reasons. First, home decor items usually are higher in cost which means higher profit margins for you. Second, there is a wide range of home decor products that you can sell, from furniture and lighting to home accessories and wall art. Third, the home decor is a large and growing market that is driven by trends, which means there is always an opportunity to introduce new products and styles to the market. To find your niche, start by researching the home decor industry. Look at popular home decor websites, blogs, and social media accounts to see what types of products and styles are trending. A couple of my favorite blogs to find the latest home decor trends are Addicted to Blogging and House Beautiful. You can also attend local home decor trade shows and events to see the latest products and network with suppliers and other industry professionals. One of the most critical aspects of starting a dropshipping business is finding reliable suppliers. Your supplier is responsible for fulfilling your orders and shipping products to your customers, so it's essential to find a supplier that you can trust. When evaluating potential suppliers, consider factors such as their product quality, pricing, shipping times, and customer service. It's also a good idea to order samples of their products to ensure that they meet your standards. Once you have found a supplier that you want to work with, negotiate terms such as pricing, shipping fees, and minimum order quantities. Look for suppliers that specialize in home decor products and have experience working with dropshippers. If you have found your niche and secured a supplier, it's time to set up your online store. When it comes to dropshipping, two popular platforms that e-commerce entrepreneurs use are Shopify and WooCommerce. Both platforms have their own pros and cons, so it's important to understand the key differences before choosing one for your business. WooCommerce is a WordPress plugin that turns your WordPress site into an e-commerce store. This is a good option for businesses that already have a WordPress site or blog and want to add e-commerce functionality to it. Shopify is a hosted e-commerce platform that includes everything you need to set up and run your online store. It's easy to use and comes with a wide range of features. One advantage to using Shopify to build your online store is they have integrated with a variety of dropshipping apps. This instantly gives you access to thousands of dropshipping and wholesale suppliers. This is very convenient especially when just getting started because it will seamlessly send your customer order information to your dropshipping supplier letting them know to prepare and ship out the order for delivery. There is a link in the description below if you want more information. Creating a strong brand is essential for building a successful home decor business. Your brand should reflect your niche, values, and target audience and should differentiate you from your competitors. Start by choosing a memorable and unique business name and creating a logo that reflects your brand style and personality. You should also create a brand message that communicates your mission and values to your customers. Once you have established your home decor business and have a steady stream of sales, you can start scaling your business. One way is to expand your product line. As your business begins to grow you can start to add new products and categories to your store to attract new customers and increase sales. Adding similar items of products that are already selling well for you is a great way to get your customers to buy more than one item from you at a time. Next is to invest in advertising. Promoting on social media for free is great when you are just getting started. But once you are ready to grow your business you should definitely think about investing in paid advertising. A good place to start paying for advertising is through social media platforms that you are already using. This way you are putting your products in front of people that are already familiar with your brand. This can help to generate more sales faster. Another way to scale is to hire employees. As your business grows, you may need to hire employees to help you manage your orders, customer service, and marketing. Hiring employees to do certain tasks that are time-consuming allows you to focus more time on the projects that generate your business more money. By finding your niche, choosing reliable dropship suppliers, and creating a strong brand, you can stand out from your competitors and build a loyal customer base. 
If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.